All right, so I got a bunch of people that asked if I would just make a colored star and show them how I do it. And I'm gonna make rubber red from Skylighter. Um, it's a pretty cool site. They got a lot of good ideas on there. And those rubber stars are really easy to make a bunch of different colors with just a few chemicals. So I'm gonna make just red here, but um, it's gonna take five things. It's going to take the oxidizer, which is potassium perchlorate. And this stuff that I get is pretty fine already. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything to it other than get the clumps out of it through a uh, um, screen. And then strontium carbonate, that's going to be what's going to make it red. Red gum, which is a binder and a fuel. Magnolum, which is a metal, and it's a fuel. And it'll make it burn really bright and really hot. And parlin, which is a rubber also, but it's just used as a fuel on this star. So I'm going to measure this stuff out. And the batch that I'm going to do, um, they have 30 of this, 30 of that, 20 of this, 20 of that. So I'm just going to make it times 3. So I'm just going to take all those numbers and multiply them by 3. So instead of 30 potassium perchlorate, I'll have 90. Okay, so I got all my all my stuff mixed up here, or weighed, and um, I'm just going to use this strainer because red gum's kind of clumpy and the carbonate's kind of clumpy. It's fine, but it just clumps together as soon as there's any moisture at all. And um, I'm going to put I got two containers here, and I'm going to take the oxidizer first. Right here, and this is not clumpy at all. If I put the red gum in there first, it'll kind of like stick to the bottom. So, I'm just gonna strain this. Okay, I'm gonna take my red gum, which is really clumpy. Gotta get a spoon or something to get that down through there. Okay, I'm going to add some metal. It's all a magnum. Then some parlin. And all, all the, the only reason for doing what I'm doing right now is just to get the clumps out. You don't want clumps. I ran that through the strainer one time, I'm just going to stir it. It's, it's going to clump up again. Especially those carbonates, for whatever reason. It gets really humid here right now, and they will clump on each other almost instantly. So once I just get this mixed pretty good, I'm going to take this other container and I'm going to strain it back through. Once I do that, I'm going to just put a lid on here and I'm just going to mix this the rest of the way. And that's what you end up with, something along those lines. Just powder and the red gums making it red. What I got here is a piece of Corian. I can use anything like a cutting board and a supermarket bag. Like some, a Walmart bag or something. And um, I got my mix and I got isopropyl. Isopropyl from the dollar store. It's like it's only 50% alcohol and the rest of it's probably water. And I'm just going to also put that in there. Just 
how to mix it up. And you, you don't want to get this too wet. So mix slowly. If you do get it wet, you just got to leave it sit there for a little bit and dry out. A little bit of alcohol will it'll, uh, evaporate pretty quickly. I just kind of got my finger on the spoon. I'm just kind of smashing this together. And that alcohol will melt the red gum. And it doesn't smell that badly. They want you to use acetone, but if you were doing this right now, you'd be choking. You'd have to do it outside where it's 100 degrees. So, I eventually want the consistency of this to be like, um, like a real wet dough. So, add a little bit more. You can kind of start to see it's like starting to get clumpy. It's wet. But it's not, there's no standing uh, water or alcohol in there. It'll start to get a little bit creamy, but there's the, the magnum in there is really coarse, so it doesn't it doesn't smear out like like Crisco or something, okay? And I think I just need a little bit more. No, I think that's where I want to be. It's like a soft, soft dough. Okay, and after I get that, I'm just going to grab this out of here. Kind of see what I got here. It's like a big rubbery ball. I'm just going to take this. If you start doing this right here and it gets big cracks in it, then you're not wet enough. And if you could see standing water like on the edge of it, like in the bag, then you're way too wet and you need to just leave it sit there for a while. I'm just going to pat this out and I just eyeball it. You could get two little sticks and roll the paint can over it to get the thickness you want, but kind of know where I want to be. So I'm probably 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. And once I get it to there, I'm going to take my hot prime, which is uh, potassium perchlorate and some alcohol and some red gum and a little bit of magnum. I'm just gonna sprinkle this on the top of this while it's wet. Not that much, probably like a half a quarter of a Dixie cup maybe. And while that's wet, that's gonna soak right in and it'll bind itself right to the star. If you don't do this when it's wet, for whatever reason they don't they don't all light. I wouldn't think it would make a difference, but it does. And once I get to here, I'm going to get my other cutting board. I'm going to set it right on top of here. Flip this over. I'm going to peel this bag right off. I'm going to take my prime on the other side. Okay, from this point, I'm going to hacksaw it right around here somewhere. I've got a hacksaw blade, and I'm just going to take this, 
I'm just going to slice it up in about 3 16 squares like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm just leaving a little space between them. Just pulling them apart. I'm just going to turn this 90 degrees. Do the same thing this way. Okay, so now I cut all these up. That's what I end up with, something along those lines and they're primed just on the face and the back side with hot prime and now I need to take some meal powder or black powder that I have just had in a ball mill, it's real fine and I'm going to take one full Dixie cup of this and if, if your batch wasn't this big then you wouldn't need that much obviously and then I'm going to take a little bit of Magnum and put that right in there. I'm actually just going to stir this stuff. Just mix it around a little bit. Get the magnum in there. And that magnum, when it burns, it burns really hot. And it definitely helps to ignite them. So then I'm just going to take this, I'm just going to get it on there while they're wet. And that alcohol will soak up into that and make it stick real nice. Then, I'm taking this container here. I'm just going to take my hacksaw blade. I'm just going to slide, scrape them all in this pan. If they're too wet when you do this, they'll all stick together and you'll have like five stars all in a big clump in this bucket. And the more you do, the heavier they are and the more they would want to stick together. So then once I'm in here, I'm going to take, put some more of this in here. I'm just going to shake them around a little bit like this. I'm going to dump them in my other bucket. I'll take the rest of it, put it on this side. And shake it down in. Okay, and then after I move those around in a bucket for a while, I just dump them out on a piece of wood and they won't stick to a piece of wood. If you put them to wax paper, sometimes they stick, but um, you'll be able to, when they're dry, just take your hacksaw blade and just go right underneath them like this and they'll come right off the board. And that's it. And these will actually burn right now, but you can't put them in a shell because they're, they're not hard enough.